Okay, so today we're going to chat about my pick for the top five Debian-based distros for 2024. If your distro isn't in here, let us know below in the comments. And remember, this is just my opinion. So don't take it too personally if your distro ain't on here or if you disagree with the list. Coming in at number five, Linux Mint Debian Edition. So if by now you don't know, not only does Linux Mint have their Ubuntu variant, but they have the LMDE, which is of course their Linux Mint Debian Edition, which is essentially all the goodness that they put in the Ubuntu version, but put it on a pure Debian base. Now, this Debian base isn't quite exactly the same as a normal Ubuntu version. There are a couple of downsides, such as there's no fancy uh, additional driver installation support, and a couple of other small items are not quite the same, and it's a little bit more manual. But as opposed to pure Debian, great distribution. It runs on uh, Cinnamon out the box and Really, if you haven't used it, it's by far one of the easiest get up and go Debian Linuxes you can use. Okay, then, okay, then of course, there is uh, Q4S, which is, of course, a lightweight Debian distribution. And this one is, of course, targeted for the older type of computers that are no longer supported or older bits of hardware. So Q4S has a two interfaces. They've got a customized Plasma from KDE, of course, and they have a older Trinity desktop environment, essentially KDE 3.5. Also, some great uh, advanced tooling, easy ways to install additional bits of software and some customizability, a really great uh, distribution. That's not as often spoken as often as it should be. Then, of course, there's Nopix, which is a Debian and Kelly Linux-based distribution. Intention, of course, is to be run from a live source or even from your local hard drive. And what makes this so good is it's really a great customized edition of XFCE, being the primary interface, and really great to use some fantastic easy tooling to use out of the box and a real great example of what can be done with uh, Debian and the XFCE interface really really great work okay then another distribution Sparky Linux so Sparky Linux has a rolling release and a non-rolling release basically either using more Debian stable or Debian testing repos additional nice to use features with additional desktop environments that are sometimes a bit harder to get up and running in Debian. Really great and definitely seems to have its cult following and uh, really a nice solid steady Debian uh, distro. And uh, finally MX Linux. MX Linux an incredibly popular Linux distribution. It is based on Debian stable using some NTX components and of course is the spiritual successor to MuPS Linux. MX Linux, I've been using it uh, more and more recently and for me it's basically Debian done right for on the desktop environment. So it has additional tooling that really helps to tamper down some of the more advanced uh, requirements of running pure Debian. Uh, tooling everything from additional software, additional kernels, uh, to using backports in case you need to use software that's slightly different, uh, one-click installs for popular items of software. It does by default come in XFCE and KDE, but there's also, uh, you can also install the other desktop environments as well. So you can go ahead and install your Cinema Nomate, etc. So, folks, uh, let me know what you think of this list. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Do you use any of these? Are you going to give any of these a try? As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.